How's it going, fellas? Just shooting a video here real quick. Um, if you watch my previous video, you're going to see that we replaced the front uh, wheel bearing on this Mazda CX-9. And right now we are about to do a software update on the transmission control module. Um, of course, this, this car doesn't really have that many modules that are programmable. But I was checking for updates and it does have an update for the for the TCM. Uh, nothing wrong with the ECM. No updates, but uh, the TCM does have an update, so we're gonna go in real quick do the update. And for that, we have our IDS for Mazda ready to go. So we're gonna wait for the application to to run. Uh, previous vehicle so yeah this is the same car that I was working on so we're gonna click check mark so we're gonna go into toolbox select module programming click next we're not replacing the module or controller we're just gonna update the software so we're gonna click on module programming uh, PCM TCM so there's nothing on the PCM but the TCM does have an update so we're gonna select that The application is asking us to uh, connect to the network so but since this application is not based on a um, you know like an online account but rather just uh, all the flash files are saved into the hard drive so I'll click on that so let's turn the ignition switch off it off. Connect the battery charger. A low battery in the vehicle when the diagnostic tester may cause programming failure. Accessories. Make sure that the connection is between the turn off the radio. Okay. Turn the ignition on. Shouldn't take longer, more than five minutes, I guess. Might take more than that, but I think our battery is really good. It's not gonna have a an issue with the keeping the ignition on for half an hour.
nothing going on in our instrument cluster. Every time you do a calibration or a software update, it's always good to have a battery maintainer or um, some sort of like power source where it's gonna keep the battery fully charged. And, but uh, this is not really a big update, so it doesn't really take that long. So that's why I decided not to use a charger this time. So I turn the ignition off. Ignition on. It's on. Just programming completed or complete. Uh, says that it might, while well, the programming was taking place, other modules might have uh, generated so generated some trouble codes, but. We'll check on that. Mm -hmm. Says so either put a label on the under the hood to let whoever is gonna work on the car their module was updated to a newer calibration, but says that is not required. So. All right, well, I think we're done with that. Uh, programming. We're just gonna double check again to make sure that the software update took place. All right, so it says no later calibration is available on the system for this TCM, so we should be good on that thing. Well, that'll do it for this episode, I guess, and uh, I will catch you in the next one, guys.